guys, I'm back. It's Kristen live from my laundry room. Um, today I'm going to make um, a very simple video to show you homemade laundry detergent. So this is going to be better for your body, um, better for the environment, just and cheaper, which is always better. Um, so this is a little container I put it in. And all you need is two 16 ounce containers of some kind of um, color safe bleach free stain remover. There's, this is powerhouse. There's, um, you know, OxyClean, anything you find that's an all purpose stain remover. Well, two of those, two 16 ounce boxes of baking soda, any brand. One bar of Fels Naphtha. Fels Naphtha is your friend. Um, what you do is it comes in a, like, soap dry bar, and mm, you actually need to um, grate it. I have a separate grater that I use that makes it a lot easier to do this than I use for our regular kitchen grater, but um, you can you can use your kitchen grater as long as you clean it really well when you're done. So, we have that, that, and any kind of phosphate-free... Um, powdered laundry detergent. This brand's fine. Um, there's probably more, um, I guess, earth-friendly brands, but um, this is just what I happen to have for the video. So anyway, you're going to use about half of this bag. So this bag's 35 ounces, so about 17 ounces of this. And the only other thing that's optional is uh, a scent. Of course, I love doTERRA. So I use 100% natural organic essential oils. Um, uh, again, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them. However, I would love to be someday. So anyway, I just use um, probably no more than six drops for the entire container of this. It's just for scent and really just gives you that nice, warm, cozy, clean feeling when, you're, when you put your clothes on. So you just mix all those together. You put them in your handy dandy container. Um, this is what it's going to look like. And all the different things you're seeing here is just what I showed you. It's the uh, grated Fels naphtha with the baking soda and all the other ingredients and the lavender drops, even though everything else here is dry, they still soak in just fine and, and um, they're great to add to it for good scent. So anyway. That is my tip for the day and how to make your own laundry detergent. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe below. And I can't wait to bring you another video soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.